carpet where the spotlights are so bright they turn night into day. Fans are going wild for Hollywood super hunk Granite McChin, and who could blame them? <laughs> Granite! The rumor is that you spent over a million dollars on your latest haircut. Well, I was gonna use the money to save endangered pandas, but I mean, come on. Pandas? <laughs> <laughs> Goers, please turn off all cell phones and pages and prepare to embrace the terrifying, blood-curdling darkness. <laughs> Listen up, you. You just ruined my premiere and ticked off the wrong superstar action hero. Prepare to meet the granite fists of McChin. Whoa! Huh? Ah, my hair! My perfect hair! Somebody help me! No! Must have been thousands of them. Hmm. Bats almost never attack people. Looks like someone or something chewed through the power supply. That's why the place went pitch black. Maybe someone wanted to take out Granite McGin's career. <laughs> Granite doesn't need bats to ruin his movies. They already reek. Look, footprints. And they're kind of stinky. That's because they're made out of guano. You know, bat poop. Nitrogen, ammonia, acids, this stuff has it all. Bag it. Let's see if Labrat can dig out any more clues. Oh, oh, hair, poop, hair, poop, hair in poop, oh. Labrat, we need a chemical analysis of this guano stat. Yeah, yeah. I'll get to it after I finish a spectral analysis of these glowworms. I'm trying to replicate the enzyme that gives these firefly larvae their spark. If it works, you won't need to worry about your flashlights running out of juice anymore. Hey! <laughs> Weren't you doing that last week? I'm a busy guy. Analysis, DNA scans, my intensive exercise routine. Ha! Huh. The only thing you're exercising is your thumbs. Hey! Hands off! That's, uh... Evidence. Oh, right. Insectiva must have paused it just before we caught her. Ah, busted. Fine, all right. I'll scan your bag of bat poop already. Come on, Ty. We're late to meet Mom and Dad. And Lab Rat has work to do. Ah, field grossologists. They just don't get how time-consuming lab work can be. Breaker, Breaker, this is Chemical 20, coming in hot with 10 tons of live octopi. Ah! Hey, shout ahead! Get off the road! What is your problem, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Say sunshine! Sunshine! So, kids, what do you think of the new sunshine tower? The revolving restaurant on top is pretty cool. Not just cool, Abby. 
This is the largest single photovoltaic array in the world. Its rotation matches the movement of the sun, so the solar power cells can capture all its energy. Ooh. It might be an efficient solar collector, but <coughs> eating plus spinning equals... Kids, I'd better take your father home. <coughs> Don't stay too long now. Wow. The entire tower was designed and donated to the city by a mysterious benefactor. I wonder who it could be. Protologists, there's been another bat attack. You've got to stop it. They're popping up everywhere. The wings, the tiny little teeth, the bat poop. <laughs> We're on our way. and steals a truckload of octopi. I don't know, but they're gonna get slapped with eight arms of justice. Department of Grossology, pull over! We can't get too close. I'm all over it. <gasps> Great. Cute octopus one. Poop cannon zero. <laughs> Attention. <gasps> he's photosensitive. He hates light. Keep shining that on him and maybe he'll give up. Oh, man. <gasps> Kick on the autopilot. The camera is covered in guano. It's as blind as we are. Someone's gonna pay for this. Abby, the bad guy got away. Oh, I wasn't talking about him. Ugh! And thanks to your slacking, we lost them! Slacking? I was working! I've still got glowworms in places I'd rather not talk about. Easy, guys. Easy. Oh, you were working, were you? Working on your high score? Okay, look. I may enjoy the odd video game now and then, but I'm not a slacker. Think my job's easy? You try it for a day. I can do your job in my sleep. You want to know what hard is? Try walking through a mile of goo in my shoes. Yeah? Well, maybe I will. Uh, unfortunately, neither of you are qualified. Deal? Deal. Oh, great. Have fun in the outside world, Lab Rat. I know how much you love the outdoors. Nice try, but I won't be outdoors. While I was being lazy, I ran an analysis on that guano from the theater. Among other things, it shows traces of calcium. So? It's old guano. It must have absorbed calcium from rocks. It did. Rocks from a cave. Your point? I won't be outdoors at all. Ty and I'll be investigating a cozy little bat cave while you'll be stuck here going nuts with like a jillion different things to do. And your first job? Hermes needs a bath. He got into the lab's mucus collection. Come on, Ty, let's fire up the GRS-1 and get moving. Uh, after that crash, the GRS-1 isn't going anywhere. Not until the new and improved lab technician, that's me, checks it out. 
then how are we supposed to get anywhere? <laughs> so much walking. Heart about to explode. Need rest. Need a nap. Also need a soda. Lab rat, we got here by taxi. You've only walked like 17 feet. I haven't exercised in years. Except maybe my gaming thumbs. Uh, which reminds me, what's that big blue thing up there? Uh, that would be the sky. Get out of town! Piece of cake. Yes! This is easy. Go, Abby. Woo. Go, go, Abby. Go, Abby. <laughs> They're just common brown bats. They only eat insects. Now, vampire bats, they drink blood. Good thing, then. Blood I got. Insects I don't. Oh, really? <laughs> <sighs> okay, time for a break. It's an emergency test. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, just peachy, in fact. It's standard lab procedure. Didn't uh, lab rat tell you? Uh, I guess he forgot. Hmm. I don't know why you're so jumpy. Lab rat loves our little surprise drills. <sighs> Good fellow, that lab rat. <sighs> Keep the line coming. Nice and steady. And Abby thought this was hard. Yeah! <laughs> Take that, zombies. Lab rat, I'm going a little fast. Lab rat! Yeah, yeah, just a second. Lab rat 17, zombie zero. <laughs> hey, Ty, did you hear that? Come on, man, pay attention. Underground power fluctuations? Hmm, weird. They run straight from the Sunshine Tower to the Bat Cave. Check it out. There's a whole ecosystem down here, all based on bat poop. Bat poop that matches the footprint you found at the theater. We must be close, real close. Uh, lab rat. <gasps> yes, called it. Can you call it a little more quietly, please? <gasps> Our villain must be tiny. Ty! Huge amount of power! Sunshine Tower! Straight into that cave! Something weird! Abby, I can barely hear you! Abby! Abby! Ty, get out of there! The Sunshine Tower! It seems to be powering something! Something! Whoa! Super crazy weird machine over here! Hmm. Lost her. Mm. What the? Some twisted creep is sucking the ink out of these poor octopi. <laughs> hey! ah! Congratulations, grossologists. You found me, but too late, I'm afraid. By now, my nocturnal minions are already wreaking havoc at the power plant above. They're readying the city to be plunged into glorious eternal darkness. Oh, what now? But that's only the beginning. I am Darko Crevasse, and I detest the light. No kidding. <laughs> I got news for you, Dorko. You cut the power, but it's daytime. 
You haven't plunged the city into anything. <laughs> haven't I? <laughs> Imagine clouds of octopus ink sprayed from a tower I designed. Ink black enough to turn high noon into darkest night. <laughs> hey, whoa! No more artificial eyes for you. Have fun escaping from my labyrinth of caves in the dark. <laughs> Good night, grossologists. Lights out. Ty, is that your tentacle around my leg? Uh, I don't have any tentacles, lab rat. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's stay calm. We can get out of this. Calm. Okay, I can do calm. No, I can't. I want my slime goggles back. In fact, I want my video games back, my chair back, and I want my lab back! Uh, you done? For now. No. Okay, look. Darko was able to find his way in the dark without goggles, right? Yeah, but he's some kind of mutant. He's physically adapted to the darkness. And did you hear all that clicking he made when he talked? <gasps> That's it. It's echolocation. Like how bats can navigate in the dark? Exactly. You click, then you wait and listen. The sound and timing of the echo lets you see what's in front of you. I bet I could do that. I'll make the grossometer send out a click of its own, then analyze the echo. Beautiful. We'll be out of here in no time. I should change my name to Lab Bat. Uh, maybe you should just stick with Rat. All hail me, Darko Crevasse, Lord of Permanent Night. There's got to be an auxiliary power source around here somewhere. Hello. Let there be light! Now, let there be computers! Abby, we need your help. Darko's taking over the tower. He's gonna black out the entire city. There are bats everywhere. We need a way to break through. Uh, oh. Okay, I've got it. Use your grossometer to blast the bats with high-frequency noise. Of course. If I can blast out sound on those frequencies, it'll mess up their echolocation and scramble their sense of direction. I could have thought of that. Yeah, but you didn't. Soon my darkness will be total. Not a chance, Darko. Now shut off the ink or we'll do it for you. I don't think so. <laughs> Ty, are you okay? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I'm fine. Just stop him. I'm just a lab guy, remember? Abby, what do I do? Look, if you can deal with this crazy lab, you can stop that pasty-faced villain no problem. Believe me. How? <laughs> ah, sweet darkness. Finally. Humanity will be forced to crawl blind like worms while we creatures of the night rule. <laughs> worms, that's it. <laughs> hey, Darko. Hey, Darko! Did you know glowworms turn into fireflies? Say hello to my little friends. Light! Light! Horrible burning light! Give it all you got, guys! Darko, stop! You're gonna.
<laughs> Darko Crevasse, you're under arrest for grand theft octopus and obstruction of light. And, uh, yeah, more weird stuff we'll figure out later. And nice work, grossologist! Jeez, I don't know how these kids do it. Night will fall again. Hey, you did it, Lab Rat. You got us out of Darko's lair. You outfoxed the bad guy, and you saved the city. Well, what do you know? I did. Uh, can we go back to the lab now? All this, uh... Sky. Yeah, it's giving me the creeps. Ah, that's the stuff. Well, it'll be hard to go back to field work after such a cushy day at the lab. Yep, uh, your job was pretty easy, too. Well, since you guys are so good at each other's jobs, why don't you just keep them? Uh, nah, I'm good. Uh, me, me too. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Since I had so much free time, I made some modifications to your desk. <gasps> My video game mega console! What have you done? Just getting you in shape for the next blackout. <laughs> Ty, take me back to the field. I don't care how dangerous it is. I'll fight sharks. I'll swim in snot. Anything but this. Anything. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 oh,